County leaders say some more San Diego businesses could reopen as early as Friday. Welcome back. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Local leaders unveiled a series of guidelines businesses must follow in order to safely reopen. The five general categories are protecting employees and customers. That's two categories. Sanitizing, physical distancing, and communicating their protocols. This as 93 new cases were reported today, bringing the total to 4,020. There were also five new deaths, three women and two men. The county deaths toll now stands at 144. As coronavirus cases continue to rise in skilled nursing facilities, the separation is taking a toll on the mental health of residents and their families. News 8's Monique Griego spoke with some family members about the emotional struggle they're now living through. Monique? Today we spoke with a psychotherapist about the stress that medical professionals are under and those on the front lines, how they can deal with it and how you can help your loved ones. So everybody is struggling, right? Everybody is struggling with something. As the country and world continues to try and come to grips with the deadly coronavirus pandemic, those on the front lines are now being called the second victims. And then we've got um, our first responders and our medical teams and certainly those in the funeral industry as well having to see more pain and suffering than they are accustomed to and it's and it's a lot dr megan divine is a licensed psychotherapist what we've got here are people who are pushed well over the um the edge of what is normal and that's why she wasn't surprised by the news last week that an er doctor in new york city took her own life the family of dr lorna breen telling new york times she tried to do her job and he killed her from what i understand is so far beyond normal that it stretches um, even the, the skilled person's capa capacity to bear witness. One nurse who didn't want to be identified recently told CBS News. It's very, very difficult. Uh, it's like something out of the twilight zone. And I don't think any of us going through it will ever be the same. So what can someone who's suffering do to cope? First, acknowledge that it's tough and that's normal. This is a normal reaction to a very abnormal situation. So first, acknowledging that it's tough. And the second thing is find somebody to talk to. And while nothing beyond time and a vaccine can solve the crisis, just being able to vent to someone is critical. It's not gonna fix it to talk about it. What we're looking for here is to ease your own suffering as a provider, to be able to have just a little bit of breathing room. Dr. Devine says that can be said for anyone, not just those on the front lines of the pandemic, because right now so many people are feeling the effects of it. She says doing small things to help alleviate stress can go a long way for someone. There are no small things because every single decision takes emotional and mental bandwidth and they don't have it. And like Dr. Devine said, there really are no small things. It can be walking someone's dog, making dinner for them, just giving them time to themselves so that they can alleviate some of that stress. Monique Griego, News 8.